Welcome to our first video in making a Pac-Man video game. Um, thank you for joining. And uh, I'm just going to dive right in and get right to it. I'm assuming you already have a Scratch account and that you're already signed in. Always make sure of that. And I'm assuming that you know how to create a new project. If not, it's just File New or you can create, click the Create button. Up here where it says Untitled, I'm going to type in uh, Pac-Man um, Video series um, just so that I know which one it is and then uh, over here we've got a cat and the first thing I'm going to do is delete the cat um, because I want to create a new um, sprite or a new object and I'm going to choose the ball and the first thing I'm going to do when I get the ball is I'm going to change the ball so that it looks like Pac-Man so I'm just going to go to the costumes by the way you can do this with pretty much anything. I'm just going to delete these other colors because I only want one color. Um, but I just want to quickly go over how the graphics program works in um, Inkscape. So whatever I do, I do not ever click the convert to bitmap button. I really like vector graphics and I'm going to show you why in just a second here. Um, there's two black arrow tools. The first one just kind of clicks it and you can kind of move it around and do all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to undo that. But the second one is the really powerful one, which is uh, reshape. Um, in other graphics programs, it might be called edit nodes. And so when you click on this, you can see that each of these has a different node and that the nodes kind of uh, can be edited as you go. I'm just gonna undo that. So that was just a quick demonstration, but the real power of it is, is that you can I can um, double click in order to add a new node and there it is. Uh, and then I can double click again to add a new node in the middle and pull it in and all of a sudden I've got a mouth. Um, and so that's a very kind of small mouth. Um, and so I can undo that uh, and it goes back to my original circle. So now I can duplicate this. And then when I go to edit those nodes, I'll just pull that mouth back in again. Oh, that's perfect. And then I can duplicate that again. And now in order to make the mouth bigger, I could drag this down. Um, but in order to make it perfect, I'm just going to double click, create another node there, which was a double click and then a single click afterwards. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete that node. So I click on it one time, it turns blue and I click delete on my keyboard. And now the mouth is more open. So you can see I've got no mouth, a small mouth, an open mouth. I'm going to duplicate this one more time to get an even bigger mouth. So let's double click to create that single click to bring it back. Uh, and then click on this guy and press delete. So now I've got a really big mouth. Um, and then I'm going to kind of work his way back. So this is his way of getting bigger. And then I'm going to duplicate this guy to get a smaller. Oh, I duplicated the wrong one. Oops. Click on this one first, then click duplicate. There we go. So now he's going to get a smaller mouth. Uh, did I get it right? Maybe I didn't get it right. Something went wrong here. This guy's mouth is not wide enough open. There it is. So I click here, click delete on my keyboard. There we go. Now I've got it right. So I've got no mouth, small mouth, bigger mouth, biggest mouth, back to the meat, the, one of the medium sized mouth. Then I want to duplicate this one, pull that down to the bottom, and then I'm, and then back to zero. Now you don't necessarily need this many mouths, but I just like to have like no mouth, small, medium, large medium, small, and then I don't need the no mouth again. It'll just go back. So the secret is, is that when I go to code, um, I'm just going to make this happen really fast. And so the animation should look really smooth. So here's how I do it. Go to the events tab. And just for now, we'll just grab when the green flag is clicked, go to the control circle, and we want a forever, which is the third one down. And then when we go to the looks tab, which is sort of purplish, I guess, um, we want to get this one called next costume. We'll put that in there. And then under the, back to the orange control, um, the very first one says, wait one second, uh, or seconds. And so we want to change that. I'm going to change that to 0 0.1, uh, just, and then I'm going to click green flag and see, is that, how does that look? That looks pretty awesome. It looks like a chomper. So Pac-Man is now chomping and that's a success. So we have something worth saving. Uh, we've named our project. And then over here, if it says save now over here, please click save now. If it doesn't, 
then it's already auto saved and you're good to go. So that's the end of the first video. We now have a chomping Pac-Man. I'll click the green flag again just to prove it. Yep, there it is. Pac-Man is chomping and we're ready to get him uh, moving. If you have a pack woman or a pack animal or any other pack object that you can choose from, uh, please feel free. There's no requirement for this to be a pack man. It doesn't need to be a ball. It can be pretty much anything at all. All right. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next video.